Welcome into another video in my series where we're checking out every single weapon inside of MW3, including the MW2 weapons, all aftermarket parts and conversion kits to see just how viable they are inside of your Modern Warfare 3 Zombies games. Now today is going to be something fun. It is 420, so happy 420 to those of you that celebrate in honor of that. I thought I would, uh, you know, we're going to be running as Cheech today because, you know, why not? Also, I wanted to find out just how far along all of you guys are in the Battle Pass. Have you completed the Battle Pass? Let me know how far along you are as I have finished the battle pass. Now in today's video is going to be another one that I have uncovered inside of them, the MW2 weapons. It's going to be the SMG, the ISO 45, and I am thoroughly excited to bring you guys this video today. It was just an absolute blast to record this. So if you guys are new around here and you love to find out how weapons work inside of Modern Warfare 3 Zombies, then make sure you subscribe, turn on bell notifications so you don't miss any future uploads from myself on Modern Warfare 3 Zombies. As well, down below in the description, you will find the link for my stream and I'd just be honored to have you guys come hang out. I play a ton of custom zombies and other zombies related games on there. So if that's your type of thing, hop over to the stream and I'd love to see you guys there. But without further ado, let's get to the ISO 45 video today. All right, welcome into another video today, and we're going to be dropping in today and checking out another SMG from MW2. And this one was one that just absolutely surprised me. I was thoroughly impressed, just unbelievably how strong this is. So we've got Orion Camo on there and a blueprint from MW2 uh, with, I believe, Lilith. I can't remember what the blueprint was called. So as we do with all this series, we're going to be spawning in and throwing on uh, perks and nothing to affect the weapon. I did grab my ether blade and my golden armor plates, and we have mags of holding for later on as we'll be testing the weapon with mags of holding and without. So stick through the video to the end to make sure you find out how they perform with mags of holding. Um, also, I just wanted to get uh, a big shout out to all of you for the support on the channel recently. Recently. Holy smokes, you guys are absolutely smashing it. As of recording this video today, we are almost at 1,750 subscribers, which is absolutely insane. So the push to 2K subs is definitely on, and you guys are crushing it. So thank you. Thank you very much. So the first bounty we picked up inside of our match today was a Mimic inside of Tier 1, and we've got nothing on the weapon, no Pack-a-Punch, no Ammo Mods, and no Weapon Rarity. And I tell you, the critical damage I noticed when I first started shooting into this Mimic already impressed me. I was like, oh my goodness, this is going to be tons of fun to use. Um, the Mimic seemed to want me to go swimming a bunch of times during this fight, so, you know, I, I took it on myself to take a dive in the water near the end. But as you can see, it just absolutely destroys this bounty inside tier one. And we have nothing on the weapon, like at all. It, it, I was couldn't believe it. So at this point, I'm super excited. I want to get over to Pack-a-Punch and put pack one on this weapon and see, you know, what, what this can do inside of tier one. So we made it over to Pack-a-Punch one. We meleeed the Pack-a-Punch machine to keep that beautiful camo on there. And then we got the weapon to pack a bunch one. Next thing to do is to find another bounty contract inside of tier one. So we can compare the difference between just spawning in with the white weapon rarity no ammo mods you know none of that uh, extra stuff to make it stronger and we got a mangler here for our second one and look at the difference like holy smokes i'm pack a punched one and we were just able to stand there and dish out the damage to the mangler until he was completely gone yes i started jumping up and down because right now i was really excited this weapon is absolutely destroying things so i went and put on my legendary tool so we're now pack one legendary inside of tier one and i wanted to grab another bounty and to see if we can like just instant delete this bounty because if that's the case then i'm gonna make sure i hustle off into tier two and see what this weapon can actually do but as we started in i picked up our bounty contract here and we got ourselves another mimic inside of tier two and i was really excited to see so here we are busted the door found our bounty and he made like two steps i couldn't believe it absolutely destroyed him so now we got to head off to tier two and grab ourselves a bounty contract and see just how strong this is inside of tier two and cheech um I'm not even going to question his parking skills because at this point, you know, I, I think he was pretty proud of himself right here. Anyway, uh, moving on, uh, got our bounty contract here. Uh, for some reason, Cheech could not figure out how to get out the window. Um, so we picked up our disciple contract and headed off into, I feel, the worst possible location to have a disciple. As it moves around here, it goes up through the floors, it, it, the walls, you know, you can't shoot through them to hit the disciple. It spawns in a, just a ton of zombies. It, this was just an absolute mess. And this is what I was talking about in my previous videos where I just really don't like Disciple Bounty Contract, partially because of the amount of zombies that get attracted to the contract while you're doing it. 
So while you're having to deal with all of these bounty contracts, he gets to reheal a little bit like he just did there off of me before I have a chance to actually, you know, break his hand and stop that healing, which is why I just don't like <laughs> Disciple Bounty Contracts. But you can see, once the Riff Raff is gone, and I was able to, and, and where are they going? Just why? This is so annoying. So annoying. All right, but as you can see, when the Riff Raff gets thinned out and you're actually able to con, uh, you know, focus on the Disciple, you're able to destroy them pretty quick. My energy mine finished off that contract there, and I didn't feel like that was showing you guys uh, a good reflection of what this weapon can do. Single pack-a-punch legendary inside of tier 2 on a bounty. So, I wanted to keep things consistent with you guys, so I grabbed another bounty inside of tier 2. And we are still legendary, single pack-a-punch, and I got a, uh, another disciple. So I wanted to show you guys, because this one didn't have any riffraff around, and what a difference. The damage this ISO 45 does to the Disciple for critical is absolutely remarkable. I mean, I was able to just melt. You can see the critical damage. Don't don't comment on my aim. Please don't comment on my aim. Um, but you can see the critical damage I was doing as I was shooting the Disciple in the face and the hands break the healing. is just super strong damage amounts coming off. And we're only pack one. No ammo mods inside of tier two. So this is definitely something that's going to be viable. If uh, tier two is where you feel comfortable and you want to run around in tier two, I feel like this is going to work just fine with an epic tool on it, and you'll be you'll be just fine, good to go inside of tier two for sure. We finally got an ammo mod out of that, which was my favorite one, which is napalm burst. So now it's time to get this weapon to pack a bunch level two and see what we can do on another bounty inside tier two. In that we're much stronger now. So we just dropped into pack a bunch there. We bought our weapon to pack a bunch tier two, and then it was time to find ourselves a bounty. And like I said in the other video, I certainly wonder if they track distance because I, I think I've traveled probably uh, up there with the, the leaders in this game as I've traveled a lot of distance chasing down bounty contracts for you guys. It's been uh, interesting to learn how to travel around. Also, side note, does anybody know about Spare Change and do you collect Spare Change when you play? So we got a Mimic inside of Tier 2. This time we are double pack punched and legendary with napalm burst inside tier two and this mimic didn't even stand a chance i reloaded to show you guys just how many rounds it took it was like 60 percent of my magazine and that mimic was done inside of tier two so definitely definitely viable double pack legendary or epic inside of tier two with this iso 45 and you will be absolutely destroying so that was our first schematic we picked up and then um hello um this is the easiest convoy i have cleared um yet uh, like I just what they were all floating in the air. None of them had a vehicle It was just the strangest thing ever. Let me know in the comments if you guys have come across this before I still think it's absolutely hilarious that sometimes the uh, Mercs will spawn in and they don't have a contract or a vehicle. Sorry. It's pretty funny Anyway, we put on our uh, pap 3 crystal and the next thing to do is to head off into tier 3 and find ourselves the wonder fuzz machine so that we can go and grab the rest of our perks before we venture into tier 3 and see what this ISO 45 submachine gun is capable of. And I do love the fact that these MW2 weapons are becoming more and more viable to use. It certainly is tons of fun having, um, you know, the carryover stuff from MW2 in that we are able to, you know, carry the blueprints over some of our operators from MW2 came over so I really enjoy that aspect of it and I think it's really cool gives us uh, another opportunity to use more weapons in the game which I truly love amazing loot out of that cargo contract I was super excited to get it we got a legendary tool out of that now I don't get many chances to do cargo contracts so I was super excited that for back-to-back -back days I was able to do a cargo contract inside of tier 3 laugh I know it's funny but I'm excited about a cargo contract so then we got our our bounty contract which was a mega abomination and he was able to be brought over to my cheese spot which made me super happy but also this iso 45 the damage it was doing to the mega abomination is just awesome like i could not believe just how strong this was against the mega abomination just look how quick we got rid of uh you know a head right here just mowing him down you can see the damage there just taking tons of damage we had a disciple show up in tier three we were able to crack his hand use the ether braid to, blade to keep out some of the riffraff and then just destroyed that disciple there like no problem this entire time, the top of the cheese spot where everything funnels towards me, I'm able to shoot through the zombies and also do damage to the Mega Abomination who was standing right there. So this was like the absolute perfect setup today to deal with this Mega Abomination. Also, I like coming to the cheese spot because it gives you a clear shot for you guys to see just how much of the damage on the Mega Abomination's health bar we are taking off as we shoot it. And you can see right there, we just completely destroyed that Mega Abomination. 
And then I was so confused, like, the reward rift spawned right up there b beside me. I I hadn't seen that before ever. So uh, amazing loot today. I couldn't believe it. We got an epic tool, a wonder waff, which I don't want, and we got another schematic, which I was going to grab so I could see if I could hand those out at the end of the match, like I always try and do, for sure. So we managed to grab that. We dropped the two PAP1 crystals because I felt like uh, giving away schematics was a better idea than having PAP1 crystals. Went and checked the loot from the Mega Abomination bounty contract and he dropped me a pap 2 crystal so i decided to grab that and swap out my perk can as i had perks and uh grab that for storage the next thing to do was to go and find the guardian of the arches george and george was being a troll an under the bridge troll today so anyway i wanted to take him on without mags of holding so that you guys can have a really good comparison and get a really good feel for how this weapon performs inside of your modern warfare 3 zombies games so we're going to be taking on a bounty contract inside of tier 3 like you saw without mags of holding a mega abomination inside of tier 3 like we're doing right now poor george this is the first one um we'll be back george again uh, this is all for science so no hard feelings george but you can see the ISO 45 without mags of holding is definitely able to take out George and Mega Abominations and be super strong inside of Tier 3. So this is definitely going to be something that is viable for you guys inside of Tier 3. And I do also feel like with this weapon, you're not going to be needing to have Legendary. Um, Epic will be just fine. Um, but I will say, you know, probably definitely want to be Dripple Back a Bunch going into Tier 3 with this just to make things a lot easier for yourself. So now crowd control, you know, in uh, Tier 3 without mags of holding definitely something viable and also you can shoot your zombies through the rift and they will fly up in the air and go splat on the ground i thought i would show you guys that absolutely hilarious let me know if you guys knew you guys if you knew that you could do that down below in the comments now it was time to go ahead and check out what we could do with mags of holding so we went and picked up ourselves another bounty contract inside of tier three this one was a mangler and uh, we took it out from range. You can already see the damage we're doing. This is an SMG, so at range, for it to even be able to do some damage to a bounty contract, I was already pretty impressed for sure. Um, Mr. Mangler was coming up to get us, so we uh, dipped out of there. We used our energy mine to clear out the riffraff, as this area, I feel, is definitely one of the busiest areas inside of Tier 3 for sure. But, like, we were able to strong arm the Mangler bounty contract inside of Tier 3 with this thing. Like, it was ridiculously strong. So definitely viable for sure. We got ray gun schematic plans out of that too. I was so excited to be able to give someone just like absolute epic loot today at the end of this match. Now I did want to show you one final thing before we got out and tried to give away all of the awesome loot we had, which is crowd control with mags of holding this time. And you can see like it just makes easy work of the entire horde, the, the, the armored zombies, the dogs, the sprinters, it really doesn't matter. Definitely viable for sure. So now we had to go back and take on Gordy. George, the guardian of the arches. I don't even know what I was trying to say right there. Oh my goodness. Anyway, George is here and uh, we're using mags of holding this time to take out George, the guardian of the arches. And uh, he didn't have much chance. Like this ISO 45 and this other cheese squad I use where he can't come up the pathway uh, made just the easiest work of George for sure. Poor guy, second time today, George has gone down and uh, he dropped us. I don't I don't think he was really pleased this time because he, he gave me a blue tool and that was it, just some cash. And that was literally about it. So it wasn't very much. And then I tried to exfil and give out the schematics and all the lovely loot I had accumulated during this run. And there was no players left on the match. I was literally the only player left in the game. So I felt kind of sad that I wasn't able to give any of that stuff away today, which is too bad. But we made it out of there, pushed uh, Cheech's containment level up finally above 100, which is awesome. So he now has all of the exfil bonuses. And as always, let's work together down below in the comments and uh, check out the weapon build I used for today's run. If you guys have any suggestions or changes, let's work together to come up with an amazing build for all of us to use inside of our modern warfare 3 games thank you so much for tuning in today and we'll catch you guys in the next one